you might think the most critical skill for a data analyst is Excel, SQL, Python, Power BI. It is none of them. This is the most important skill. This person, stakeholder management is the skill unfortunately many people ignore. So sir, how do you feel about that? Sir, many aspirants don't even know that you are a skill. Can you introduce yourself to them? Sure. Let's say you start work on any data analytics project. There will be several people in your organization, including business managers, executives, who will be interested in the outcome that you're going to bring through that project. These people are called business stakeholder. I am the skill that you need to manage them. But why do we need to manage them? With your technical skills, you can build something. Let's say a Power BI dashboard. But that something might not be the thing that your business stakeholders want. Because their expectations and requirement at the beginning and end project might not be the same. So you need me to make sure all the efforts that you put meet the needs of the business. But why do these stakeholders change their expectations? Isn't it their fault? Not really. They don't use the same brain as you do to see the outcome. See, you use technical brain. They use business brain. There will always be a gap between these two brains. And by using me, you are trying to minimize this gap. This way you can produce the outcome that they need. And in the end, you get rewards like salary hike, promotion and so on. Ah, I get it. Like partially. But what I need to do to manage them? There are several ways. I will give you seven things to remember. Number one, always summarize and document their requirements as per your understanding. Check with them if they are aligned. Do this periodically and consistently. Second, build mockups. A picture can be worth thousand words. By mockup, I mean, let's say they are asking you to build some BI dashboard. You draw a sketch, rough sketch in Norton Pen or using some mockup tool. You show it to them to make sure they are in alignment with your thinking. Number three, do not wait all the way till end for project to complete. Show the work intermediately to your stakeholder to make sure you are in a right direction. Number four, make them feel comfortable that you are open to changes. Number five, you should be okay with them not knowing technical side of things. Next one, show massive interest in knowing how they are going to use this. And the last one is see them as your success partner, not the delivery partner. Okay, but it seems like a lot of effort. Are you worth it? Yes, I am an exceptional skills to have. I know people say this, but I'm special because I'm timeless. I was relevant thousand years back. I'm relevant today. I will be relevant thousand years from now. I might be tough to acquire initially, but over a period of time, it will get easy and I will become your natural extension. So sir, where people can learn more about you? I'm there in Code Basic Resume Project Challenges. I'm all over the place in the YouTube channel called Code Basics. I'm there in Sales Insights video, HR Analytics video, Hospitality Domain video. And all of this is free. Find the links in the video description below.